time to go for goal. We started almost four months ago with 16 Northwest Football Clubs, and this is our cup final. The prize for the winning team is a cheque, £5,000 for a charity of their choice, and the Gopher Gold Trophy, which will be presented in association with Lloyd's Metal Processors by a very special guest indeed. Well, let's straight away meet our two finalists. First, Chester, who knocked Liverpool out in the semi-finals. Rock solid throughout the series, club physio Joe Hinnigan. Experience at all levels of the game has been abundantly clear in the performances of Arthur Olbiston. And a genuine love of the game has been more than obvious from their guest supporter, Mick Miller, making up the Chester team. <laughs> well, on to the Preston side, who beat a very, very strong Everton team in the semi-finals. Liam Watson, one of the stars of the series, no question about that. Gareth Ainsworth, a terrific range of football knowledge. And one of the game's great motivators, Harry McNally, making up the Preston team. If you don't know the idea of the game by now, you probably never will. At the end of each round, there's a chance to go for goal. And the difficulty of that goal attempt depends on the number of correct answers in the round. One out of three for a long shot, two right for a half chance, and all three correct, and the team gets to shoot at an open goal. And, of course, no correct answers at all, no goal attempts. We know our finalists pretty well by now, but how well do they know their own clubs? Round one is an opportunity to find out as we start with club call, starting with Chester. Joe. Your question, when Chester joined the Football League in 1931, which Lancashire team did they replace? Nelson. Correct. Mick, in which year did Chester become Chester City? 1983. Correct, Mick. Well done. Arthur. Chester's most capped player is Bill Lewis of Wales. How many caps did he win? We'll take a guess at um, 34. Way out. Seven. But two out of three, let's go for goal. So, two out of three, a half chance. Well, here's a famous picture for you, obscured by a ball. We'll remove two pieces. What's the occasion? Manchester United, um, after the beating Benfica 4-1 at Wembley in 1968. Let's see if you're correct. It's a goal! Yeah! Absolutely right. Uh, of course, the trick there, if you like, was the fact that United playing in blue shirts, the European Cup final, 1968. Preston, you're... Club call questions. Liam first, and you can confirm. Which Preston player was leading goal scorer in the third division in the 1977-78 season? I like Bruce. Yes, you're right. Uh, a player with a ferocious shot. Harry, from which club did Preston sign Archie Gemmell? And you can confirm. <sighs> Scottish club. Kilmarnock. Sorry, Harry, St Mirren, June 1967, went on to Derby County. In 1953, Preston finished level on points at the top of the first division, but were placed second on goal average. Which team pipped them for the title? 1953. Uh, Arsenal by a point one of a goal. <laughs> Absolutely correct. Don't beat about the bush, will you? <laughs> Two out of three, let's go for goal. So, a half-chance opportunity for Preston to equalise. Here's a picture of a famous occasion. Obscured by a ball. Take away two pieces. What's the occasion, Preston? The FA Cup final between Tottenham and Manchester City when Ricky Villa scored the winner. OK. Let's see if you're right. Yes, the flamboyant Argentine international Ricky Villa and the deciding goal in the 1981 FA Cup final between Spurs and Manchester City. So, the score at the end of round one is Chester 1, Preston 1.